Hello, my name's Paul Devlin. I'm the Trust Chair of Linkage Partnership Foundation Trust, the provider of mental health and learning disability services throughout Lincolnshire. I want to welcome you to this first uh, video blog in relation to our Board of Directors meetings. Um, I do have notes with me, so uh, I will be glancing down from time to time. Our board is really important. It's open to the public and we just wanted to take the opportunity to share with you a little bit about what we were discussing at our board meeting earlier today. We started by hearing from a person who'd used our services, what we call the patient story. And that's a really important way for us to be able to make sure that we always remember the people who are at the heart of the sorts of decisions and conversations we have around a trust board table. And today we were hearing about some of the challenges and successes for people who have had to come in for inpatient services, but then step down into community services and the importance that we have strong community-based projects that we're aware of that we can help people access. We also talked about some of the feedback from our staff through something we call our cultural barometer which is a way of us being able to test out what it is like to be part of this organisation. Our staff matter greatly to us and it's really important that we're able to support them as much as we can. The cultural barometer is one tool of many that we use to get feedback from our staff. And as a result of this one, um, we certainly got some ideas for work that we need to do a little bit more on, but also heard some of the good experiences. This particular month, we took a number of annual reports, so reports that just were capturing activity and areas of work that we've done over the last 12 months or so. And in particular, one of those uh, was on our Equality and Diversity annual report. What was important with that was not only that it was looking backwards and gathering some of the successes that we've had as a trust, but looking forwards and setting some very strong targets and ambition for us. In particular, in relation to two key areas, something called the Workplace Race Equality Standard and also the Workplace Disability Equality Standard, where it was important for us as a trust to set ourselves key challenges for ensuring that our services and also us as an employer are equally available for everybody. We also heard from our guardian of safe working. It's a clinical person who looks after the workforce, our junior doctor's workforce. And um, we're really pleased to hear from the guardian of safe working uh, about the way that we have been able to support the new junior doctor's contract. Uh, we did learn about some further work we need to do about ensuring good effective rest breaks for our junior doctors, but overall with some very positive messages there for us. At the moment, our medical director, Dr. Ananta Dave, is in America uh, on something we're very proud of. She's on the Winston Churchill Fellowship Award. And the piece of work that she's been supported to do is to do some research into the impact of suicide amongst health workers. It was valuable uh, in the context of not only our suicide prevention work, in which we're working with other organisations across Lincolnshire, but it was also in our ambition for having no suicides in our inpatient services. Every suicide is a tragedy. And we want to work our absolute hardest to avoid suicides for anybody who uses our services, but also for those who work in the NHS. At each of our board meetings, we scrutinise reports on the performance of the organisation. Some of that's about the services. Some of that is about the way our patients and our staff have experienced our services over the last month or two. And also it's about us looking at our organisational finance. And I'm pleased to report that whilst the national context for the NHS at the moment is very, very tough, we are doing a good job. And I would say thank you to all of our staff and volunteers for the work that they are doing uh, to ensure that we're providing the very best services that we possibly can. Finally, um, 
as part of that thanks of our staff, I just want to acknowledge the work that people are doing at this particular time in this heat wave. Um, it was only 18 months back in Lincolnshire, we were having to battle with the challenges of a really, really tough winter. And it's great to be in a position to have the sunshine, but that has a knock-on effect for those who use our services and for all of our staff, and certainly increases demand on the NHS. So a big thank you to all of our staff and volunteers for your continued hard work supporting the people of Lincolnshire. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into the work of our board. Uh, it is in the pub, held in public. You're very, very welcome to come along and see what we do in person, observe the board, come along and ask us questions. Uh, and obviously in relation to this first video, please do leave comments, uh, give us some feedback and we will do our best to come back to you. Thanks for watching.